Hi, it's Dan. I just want to make this video to show off some of the cards in my collection. And straight off the bat, these are the two cards I kind of value the most, just for uh, prosperity's sake. My first one is a reverse holo uh, signed uh, Lucario from Mike Pollock. And then another one is a first edition CRV uh, skyscraper. All of the cards that are in my collection, or ones that I value the most, are in this Pelican case. So without further ado, I'll just show you the cards that are in my collection. First off is a Full Art uh, Blues Tactics. I think it's pretty cool looking. He's in the game. I grew up playing Hard Gold Soul Silver, so it's pretty cool that he, uh, I have this now. That's the first card. Second card is a Celebrations uh, Last Toys. I don't know what more there is to say. I think Celebrations was a pretty cool set. A Rainbow Rare Mimikyu. I think it's just really cool to look at. <laughs> if there's a certain trend in my collection, it's that they're probably pretty cool to look at. <laughs> Rainbow Rare Genesect. Full, full Art Zorora. And then we get into the Yugo section. I believe these are all from the original prints or like original uh, unlimited prints and not from the recent reprints. So first off we have a Sangha of the Thunder. First edition uh, tributed to the Doom. Reverse Hollow uh, Summon Skull. Some Hollow Bleed on the Blade Knight from Collector 10. So it's pretty cool. Secret Rare, Thousand Dragon. I believe this is an original Unlimited print, uh, Summon Skull. It's pretty good looking. Barrel Dragon. A magic card, uh, Raigeki from Legend of Blue Eyes. First edition, uh, the creator, Ultra, I believe. And then an SDK, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. So the card that everyone wants for some reason. And then, the big hitters in my collection. So most of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards I got were from uh, previous collections of, or that people ch are sell. I try to find them from Facebook Marketplace or offer up a run or whatever. I think those are probably the best sites to find like collections. Clearing off my table. Okay. So I will try to set these in order. So six. Five, four, three, two, one. This is just a regular hollow, but P9, P8, and P7. So, if you can see on the back, they are Fortnite cards. Not just regular Fortnite cards, but these are the apparently uh, pre released promotional cards for the original Series 1 uh, Panini Fortnite cards. Sorry if I'm having a struggle, it's very hard to record on this format, but here. These are all the pre-release Fortnite cards, I believe. I don't know about Black Knight, but these are the cards in my collection. These are all Cracked Ice, as you can see.
And yeah. Um, for some godforsaken reason, these Fortnite cards are worth about... Um, last time I checked, they sold for uh, six grand for just the raw cards. I've seen graded sell for, I think, 700 per card for a PSA 8 or higher. So... Um, I don't know how to feel about that because I got these in a thrift store for $3 for an entire binder. So I got all of these cards for $3 for the entire collection. So, yeah. ten or uh, $6,000 Fortnite collection for myself. I really don't know how to feel about that. There you go. Cracked Eyes Panini. And just there our release number, I guess. And then this Plague Doctor. It's kind of cool. So yeah, that's the, that's my pretty expensive card collection because I lucked out at a thrift store for $3. I don't understand why I have a $10,000 uh, Fortnite card, but I do. So yeah, I think the plan in the future is to send these off for grading and then never sell them because these are too funny uh, to let go of. Uh, money is cool and all, but I firmly believe that uh, if I tell my grandkids that I have a $10,000 Fortnite cards, I think that'd be a really uh, funnier story than selling it for the uh, equivalent of a uh, Honda Accord. So yeah, that's my card collection. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and Fortnite. I hate saying the word Fortnite card collection. Or $10,000 Fortnite card. But yeah, here we are. So yeah, that's my card collection. I don't know how much further I can go with this explanation. But yeah, thanks for watching.